Hey guys, it's Dr. Price with Action Potential Mentoring, and we're going to talk about the different types of ulcers. So there are diabetic ulcers, arterial ulcers, venous ulcers, and then pressure ulcers. So those are the four main types. We'll start with diabetic foot ulcers. These are usually going to be on the bottom side of the patient's feet. And so usually they're underneath like the first metatarsal head. Arterial ulcers are usually very distal because if you think about it, the tiny little capillaries and blood vessels are going to have the hardest time perfusing the parts that are the furthest from your heart. Venous ulcers are most common at the medial aspect of your medial malleoli as well as in the pre-tibial area. And these will often have stasis dermatitis associated with them. And then lastly, I want to talk about your risk of ulcerations with pressure. And so anytime that there's a bony prominence, that's where you can get pressure ulcers. So you can see those on the sacrum. You can see them on the bony prominences of your feet as well. So usually these are going to be more of a micro trauma related injury, whereas the venous stasis ulcers are due to the poor uh, movement of blood back to your heart. So it's going to cause stasis and that causes skin changes. And then the arterial ulcers are the farthest from the heart. And then the diabetic foot ulcers are classically on the bottom of the feet. I hope that helps.